about Sunday evening, um, about half past eight, I thought I would, uh, since the allotment is deserted, I would take a walk down the allotment drive um, to show you what our allotment's all about. Um, this is the quiet end, we don't get disturbed down here. This is my plot, 131. And Steve's plot, 130. Uh, you'll be able to see uh, Steve's very much into his competition growing. Uh, he's got his leeks and so on growing in his greenhouses. Um, back at the bottom there, Steve's bees, beehive. Uh, he's got netting around it so that the bees fly up and out rather than flying at head height. Um, this here is uh, the haven. Um, there are, what, three plots together, and um, that's a community project um, run by uh, the council, I believe. Um, we've got a nice polytunnel there. Um, go over the other side, some very neat and tidy plots. Um, soil almost seems to be completely different over that side, very dusty um, compared to mine. Mine's very black and dark coloured. I think that's probably due to the amount of organic matter has gone in. You'll notice everybody's got piles of uh, farmyard manure. Um, the local farmer delivers at £25 a trailer load, so you can you can get it delivered. I actually collect my own uh, horse manure. Um, so if we go along here, there's a little bit of a drainage ditch. Um, some very nice plots there, look, um, heavily fruiting on the uh, rhubarb there and they've got um, blackberries by the looks of it there growing nicely, um, blackcurrant and so on and so forth. Um, the road does actually go round there and there are more plots right over there, but I won't take you around there today. Uh, just carry on walking down here. I have to hurry this up, otherwise it'll take forever. Um, some nice plots there, very tidy, you've got nets. Looks like they're using uh, wasp pipe there um, as hoops, that's a good idea. And some raised beds, nice plot. Some fruit trees, very well established fruit trees they are. Um, see how they do, the uh, dwarfing ones. Over the other side there. We've got some broad beans in, coming along really well. Potatoes, well on there. Um, very well on, further than mine. Um, they must have had them in a good few weeks before I got mine in. Um, shackle sheds all around. And then you'll see a lot of these XBT van uh, that have been converted into, into sheds. Uh, apparently they're very good, they've got they're kitted out with stoves and all sorts. Nice little looking pot there. Fantastic greenhouse. Um, that's uh, held together with string and goodness knows what else. Carry on going down a little way. Some plots are obviously better than others and tidier than others but some well established fruit trees there as well they look like uh, um, some cherry trees and uh, apple trees and all sorts there some nice climbing um, plants on there very nice well kept lawn area between there looks really good from this greenhouse and you look through the door there cheeky look well, their tomatoes are coming along well. Planted in pots rather than doing what I do, which is put them into the ground. Don't know which is best. Nice paved area there that somebody's got. Carry on going a little way down. Somebody's got the nice bean uh, trellis there. Right now, because there's somebody in this lives in this caravan, I believe. 
and it's coming up. That's, I mean, we'll keep my voice down. They shouldn't really, but I think they do. Bit of a ramshackle place. Never mind. That's a nice plot there. Looks very nice and tidy. And this here is the plot that I was aiming for. Completely raised beds, very nicely laid out. I'll go just around their shed, plot number 12. Look at that, absolutely perfect. That's what I aspire to. I don't think I'll ever get there. Um, don't look like they do a lot with the, the bottom half of it, but this, this uh, the top end here looks very, very neat and tidy. Obviously got too much time on the hands, that's what I say. Some very nice props there. That one's very nice. Well planted, that one is. Don't think they could get any more in there if they tried. Going, heading down towards the gates. We're very fortunate, actually, we've got really good gate system on and uh, fencing we pay extra on the rent um, something like nine pound a year but well worth it um, to keep out unwanted pests by pests i mean thieves uh, a very nice plot there and now uh, somebody's got some marrows growing or um, Pumpkins probably, I think, in there. Uh, another, another one growing leeks for show, onions for show. Fantastic. Not sure that's something I'm going to get into at all, but um, nice there. And we're heading down towards Pete's plot. I think he's got two. I think he's got number three and number one. He's the chairman of our local gardeners association. Um, he's down every day without fail. Rain, sun, hail, snow. Um, again, he's very much into his show. Um, going for show. And that's the, the hut where you can buy seeds and so on from and there you'll see the fencing all around which is keeps us nice and secure and there's the view back down towards our plot um, I just thought that would be interesting for you, hope you found it interesting as well <laughs>